it's Tybug and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and as you can see we have new hair so it's officially a new phase of Tybug and also a new phase in my life so right now we are gray it's not the perfect gray yet but I was just so excited to like let you guys know that I'm going gray <laughs> not literally but <laughs> this is the hair now I used the dye strawberry leopard in the color blow and smoke uh, this is a toilet paper because it has a little bit of dye on the outside. So I used one and like a fourth bottle of this. So this is the leftover. I think I'm going to do another round of dyeing because you can see there's some still blonde parts in it. And I think that's because I dyed it with the leave-in conditioner in. But the parts that really did take, I like them a lot. Like it's a, a really nice, it's m more of a neutral gray than like a blue gray or a purple gray. Uh, this looks more like a green gray back here, so I'm hoping most of my hair will turn out this gray color and Originally, I wasn't gonna go gray not for a while at least <laughs> Because I didn't think I'd ever be able to get my hair light enough to do a light color But when I did my last round of bleaching because I wanted to do it all over color So I like have it in the back too. It's probably not that great back here, but I don't need to see that, so shh, don't tell me. Anyways, so um, it turned out really light because I did two rounds of bleaching and it like, I was like, maybe I should do a light color, see how it looks. And I had dyed my hair purple for a while, but I had this like leave-in conditioner sort of color depositing shampoo conditioner that was purple. And then once it started to wash out, it turned this like really pretty silver purpley color. And I really liked the way that looked on me and so did a lot of my viewers. So I was like, maybe I should try actually gray or actually silver. So this is an actual gray. If I don't really like the way this turns out, I'll just put the purple in and wait for it to wash out a little bit and then I'll have that really pretty silver again. So this is what we have right now. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little review on this dye. I actually have never tried this brand before, but I've heard a lot about it from um, some of like the influencer emails. Uh, I get so I've been excited to try I just never really saw a color that I wanted to try that wasn't available in other brands but when I saw this blow and smoke they had like the actual hair samples at Sally so I was like ooh that might actually be perfect originally I was gonna do the Arctic Fox periwinkle and their sterling silver I think it's called but they didn't have the silver color at Arctic Fox and I was like oh maybe the periwinkle is just gonna be too blue so I decided to try a new brand so this is the strawberry leopard in blow and smoke and I think it applied really nicely at first it looked really light on the hair but then as I let it develop it actually did turn darker and it got to the point where I was worried it was gonna be too dark I was like I bleached my hair so many times and now it's just gonna be black again but no it did wash out very beautifully <laughs> unfortunately there are parts that didn't take to the dye that well and there are some parts up here but I've been getting compliments on my hair just the way it is so I'm like oh maybe maybe it's a look maybe it is and don't mind the crown I just I always love wearing crowns when do you get to wear a crown I'm gonna wear a crown whenever I can so this is a great dye. I'm gonna try and do another round and I will post pictures to see how that looks. That'll be on my Instagram and probably on my TikTok as well. Um, I'll see how this washes out. I've only done the initial washing of the dye, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out once I start doing shampoo and all of that. But this is a semi-permanent conditioning hair color and I guess it has a Neurobond technology which helps to repair and rejuvenate the condition of hair. And it's cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. I didn't know hair dyes needed to be gluten-free, but it is all of that. And it has a whole bunch of warnings on the back, like all hair dyes. But I really like the way this went on my hair. It smelled great, and it turned out pretty good. So I'm excited to see how this goes. And they have a lot of really cool colors with um, Strawberry Leopard. And they have some conditioners and shampoos that are good for colored hair. So I might take a look at those as well. If you guys want to review, let me know. But that is it for my hair dye review. I will post more pictures on Instagram, like I said, once I do another round of bleaching. Not another round, once I do another round of dyeing. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, my 
ring. <laughs> Bye, guys.